Insights, solutions, and networking all come together at RSA Conference. Join a global cybersecurity community at rsaconference.com forward slash ITSP MAG24. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Chats on the Road to RSA Conference. 2024, Sean is already on the road, but I think he's lost somewhere on the way. Who knows? San Luis Obispo, who knows? I don't know why I said that, Henry, but we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> uh, but it, I'm not alone. It's great to be here with friends. It's somebody that I've talked a million times before. And also, it's not the first time that we talk about the Aerospace Village, for which we are a very, very big fan. We always try to be involved and to promote what they're doing since when it wasn't even about space. So that's, that's how long that was. But anyway, for people watching the video, they already see there is uh, Henry and Liz here with me. And again, Sean couldn't connect with the computer. So technology, there you go. Um, and for those listening, yeah, they're really here. Uh, here's their voice. Henry, what's going on? Oh, man, so excited. <laughs> I'm like on my countdown. I keep looking. Is it this weekend? Is it this weekend? Oh, we, we booked a long way ago. We were like <laughs> three months ago. We're like, when are we going to talk? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and honored to be with both of you, Marco and Liz. Thank you so much for your time and all that you do for Aerospace Village and all your other work. Um, and RSA this year at the Sandbox. Again, uh, silly with it. Uh, very excited. Uh, what does Steve like to say? Steve and... <laughs> And the crew defend the skies. And <laughs> it could be a uh, sci-fi movie. Or like, it it you know? could be, right? right? You got your own slogan right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, yeah, we're going to dig uh, into what's, what's going on this year, what's going to happen, because our job is to get people excited. And I know with, with you two, it's going to be a very easy job. Liz, it's been a while. Yeah. What's up with you? You know, just trying to get, uh, trying to keep up with all the news that's coming out with the various airlines, because each time I see another story about Boeing or when there's, I'm like, oh, we need to add this to our list. We need to add this to our, so, you know, just started my own company and can't wait to uh, join the stage at RSA and then the sandbox, the airspace village with, I mean, talk about, it's not often you get a, you know, the cyber team at a major airline, one of the oldest in Canada, you get one of the grandfathers or, ooh, don't tell Casey I said that. I mean, <laughs> it, it's a good thing it's not on a podcast, yes. uh, but you have someone who created bug bounty programs and these disclo vulnerability disclosures to gossip about hot, uh, I mean, there's nothing going on in aviation these days with software, hardware, and defending. Well, definitely we don't get bored in this industry. That's, no. that's for sure. I, I, sometimes it's even like, uh, can I get a break? <laughs> you know, but the thing here is that we're not here to talk about breaches. We're not here to talk about, you know, bad stuff happening. We're talking about the good job that the Aerospace Village has been doing since many, many years ago at this point. It's been a few years. And uh, yeah, Steve is not with us this time. It's the first time I think that we're presenting something and Steve Lusinski is here with here. So hi, Steve. Sorry, I missed you, but I'll see you. Love us. you, man. I know. Love you, man. <laughs> we are defending the skies, us three, right here, right yeah. now. I don't know if you can trust me in piloting an airplane or or, or a space oh, yeah. shuttle or anything, but he, um... he'll help you through it. No problem. No problem. <laughs> like airplane, like the movie. Uh, yes, exactly. I'm, I'm already sweating. You know. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me Shirley. Don't call exactly. me Shirley. Love that one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do the job. Uh, who wants to start? I mean, Liz, you already kind of drop a couple of of, uh, of candies there for what's going to happen. But Harry, uh, what's the plan? What's the plan this year? Oh, well, my big news is, OMG, so excited. <laughs> um, we will be having an Aerospace Village badge for select few. Uh, we partnered with uh, Budabot. Uh, and they uh, wanted to do a badge in the aerospace village. Um, and just let me tell you, it has to do with constellations. That's my secret give. 
Uh, and constellations are pretty fun. So um, I'm hoping that you're one of the winners uh, <laughs> of those badges. Uh, so anyway, it's going to have a few challenges on it uh, that have to do with constellations and other space type activities. So that when it came to fruition like two weeks ago. So the fact that I'm able to say that today and I did ask permission and didn't really get an answer. So I hope I didn't blow it. But whatever. <laughs> um, that's a secret that's coming. So please stop by uh, Aerospace Village and talk to us. Play a few games on a badge. See if you can win something. All the games will be directly on it. We noticed a lot of people don't bring their laptops to game. Um, so we wanted to make sure you could do it with a hands-on right then. Uh, just super excited about that. And then Pentest Partners uh, coming again with their wonderful flight simulator. So you get to actually, you know, how should I say this? Land a plane appropriately um, and have a good time. Uh, I will be there again this year. I'm super excited. I'm bringing an AMSAT, which is a cool project by this AMSAT group that uh, allows you to build your own CubeSat and a ground control station. So I will have that with me demonstrating how that works and how cool it is. And then, of course, Space Grand Challenge, teaching middle and high school kids how to get into the cyberspace industry. Um, and young people are out of this world, as you know, and we want to uh, up their game because right now there's so many jobs available uh, at Space Force. You, you can go online right now and find them. Even at Vandenberg, they posted three yesterday. Um, so anyway, really cool. I'm very excited about that. And then we got a secret sauce of CISA, um, Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency. Some friends from the supply uh, chain risk management are coming. And I'm very excited about them uh, being able to attend and talk about a uh, supply risk uh, having to do with the aerospace industry. So we're those are our three humans that'll be there, of course, and Liz, of course, doing phenomenal things up on stage, super jealous. I go back with Casey. Uh, we did a bug bounty in San Luis Obispo on the San Luis Obispo um, uh, Army National Guard base. It was a hoot. Uh, we did it on uh, little routers and um, cameras that are on your doors, those type of things. And it was so fun to see hackers come from all over the planet and do that. But back to basically, we're going to have a great time. I, Aerospace Village, I do have swag. So Liz, yes, I just bought a bag of swiggity swag. Um, and again, I'm so excited to share with you the CubeSat, the AMSAT, how we built that and why it's teaching young people and other those, other people how to understand how CubeSats work in low earth orbit. Um, but anyway, that's my quick spiel. Um, and I'm so excited to be back with RSA, uh, enjoying myself and enjoying all the people that I see and talking with young people. And of course, I got my DEF CON hat on because hackers are going to hack. So hack the planet, all of you, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Easy. this is a admit, tough this is a tough act to follow. So well, I mean, the Aerospace Village for me has always been one of the coolest hands on. I mean, you are absolutely getting to see, you know, because most people flew or mm -hmm. are flying. Uh, we are all using our devices that are connecting through you know using the low orbit, uh, you know, satellite communications, or we use them to get the directions that we do. So it's like all these different aspects that you forget about is like, and then you get to touch, feel, see, and talk with the people who are doing that. And that's such a rare opportunity at, you know, or say it's not just folks sitting around a booth talking about it. It's like, oh, do you want to do this? Do you want to touch? So I love that uh, I get to participate more directly uh, this go round in person too. You know, and I, and I have to, I agree with all all of these. And as a matter of fact, we Sean and I remember when we met the first time you guys at uh, DefCon a few years uh -huh. ago. And uh, yeah, there was the fly simulator already there. And of course, DefCon is more about smashing stuff, yes. right? I mean. <laughs> Breaking we were it. smashed in the Tesla near, nearby, uh, but but I am excited about the fact that that now you guys are into a more I don't know business formal environment like RSA conference, and it's keep happening. And it's not just you; there are other villages there all together. You're bringing it to 
the audience that is not the one that was originally made for and Liz. It's because it's so part of our society now that we, we just can't deny. I mean, every time I talk about hacking satellite, it's like, yeah, it's not just about space. It's about everything we do on yes. our planet. So, yeah. Well, I mean, it, everything is kind of linking back. And so you need to move beyond just the researchers and getting into that C-suite, getting that buy-in from the top so that when, you know, it's not just going to the airline going, oh, we had a data breach. It's like, Hi guys, this is this is how this all plays together and by investing or knowing about how these pieces work with, that when people are coming to you asking for budget or doing things, you know what's going on. It's like, hey, let's connect the dots. It's the threat landscape and really I think that gets lost so frequently in the aerospace industry. People think of like, oh, it's a satellite. Well, yeah, but what about the vendor, the supply chain? All these pieces had to move together and getting to see that and yeah. The the witnessing too of the change and the collaboration of, I'll call them aerospace innovators, um, security experts or infosec um, and the government initiatives, right? So many working together and trying to shape the future of the safety of humans. Uh, mm -hmm. in the future, uh, real, real, uh, reality um, checks, and then trusting in what's coming in the future. Um, and I'm also part of an IPN SIG where we're shaping the interplanetary network for the future, how Mars is going to talk to the moon and Earth. Uh, there's, there's a company that just got 5G on the moon that's going to happen. That That's going to be there. So... I don't know. I, I find it so fascinating that we're living in this phenomenal time right now where changes are happening. Um, and we're almost in the Jetsons, right? <laughs> we're we're going to be in the in that little ship like, yeah, I'm going to zip over to Mars real quick. I'll see you in a little bit. And we just zip. <laughs> right. Well, and, uh, but the better question is what time zone is no. going to be the moon? Um, and uh, you know, things like that, that I love hearing these conversations because it was like, wait, what? It's like, well, yeah, I mean, in like 30 years on the moon, you'll lose a second in time. So NASA needs to figure that out. It's like, okay, yeah. What is going to be the lunar standard time? I love that. Yeah. I love the fact that you're thinking, see, these are future conversations that mm -hmm. we have to have and delay tolerant networks, DTNs, they send up a packet, has to wait a little while because of orbitology, right? We mm -hmm. don't want to see each other the whole time. It's 39 minutes out. Then you can talk to that satellite again. So I just think it's so, we're living in a phenomenal time. I know I said that already, but it's really cool. And I, I want to know, Liz, so you're going to get to talk to Casey about what? What are you going to talk to him about? Yeah. So, and this is a good chance to also hype up the fact that the Aerospace Village has been following this thread of things for a while. So uh, building on prior discussions where uh, you had folks from CISA coming in and talking about vulnerability disclosures, you had uh, gaffers uh, come in and talk about prior, we're taking all this research and saying, okay, now what happens when you build a vulnerability disclosure program with an airline? So we're not talking about the avionics of the airplanes necessarily, because those are important. And those are, we're not talking about, okay, the government regulatory, but we're talking about what happens when all of that comes together and how do, I mean, United famously had some stuff maybe go sideways with some of their past. So how is Air Canada doing it right? And how are they doing this where you have, you're inviting, these folks into your environment. And so I've got, so, you know, both between Casey with uh, Buck Crowd and we have Richard who will be joining from Air Canada. And then with my background being a former airport attorney, what happens when we all sit together and do it correctly? Mm -hmm. And how do you get that buy-in when, because I can't imagine the board meeting go, or going to the C-suite going, hi, so I'm going to have hackers break our stuff and it's going to be a good thing. Right. 
Yeah. And, and we're, I think, we're good with this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the best part about what you described is we're trying to do the betterment for society. This isn't a bad thing. And I think mm -hmm. that shift has to be changed. And I think it's happened way hard, just like we have um, Hackasat, the Air Force, yes. as well as all those. We were doing it, showing how to break things, but for the betterment of society. And that's what you're doing. And applauds to you, Liz, and everyone else that's involved, because it just makes me tingle. It's making effort and we're moving forward. Well, it, it just highlights how, Marco, as you said, how far the villages have come, but particularly their space. And how do you bring all these people in for these conversations to educate, not to scare, because it's like, hey, how do we do this better? How do we, because we all arrived on a plane or we used, again, the satellites that are navigation or Marco, when we get our swag to go to Mars, you know, it's it, how, how does all of this come together with the IT, OT, all the T's? So yeah. we'll be, we'll be dishing the T on stage. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of um, everything Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, and all of that, right? So wherever there is a documentary or book about that, I, I, I'm on it. And I've been lucky. I talked to many astronauts on my show, and I'm always like picking up, you know, the history of the space shuttle, one thing and another. But I look at now, and even if we haven't gone back in a while <laughs> on the moon, and we are, but the, the technology has improved. <laughs> I mean, we, we can't even count it. But also the cybersecurity, like you said, you know, Casey, I mean, I've known Casey for a long time when it was kind of like, what is he talking about? Company are never going to allow that. But, mm -hmm. but that's exactly like Henry said, that we need to do this because otherwise we're going to have to always react and we can't be the prevention force, right, in doing things. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if something doesn't work, doing the little monkey and covering your ears and, 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 and your mouth and your eyes is not going to help us, our society. And it's too important. I mean, in general, healthcare, mm -hmm. and, but, but the space industry, the airplane and security, it's, it's incredible. And then one thing happened, but we didn't realize how so many things didn't happen bad, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> it's, it's like that one thing in cybersecurity that mm, you fail. No, it doesn't work like that. Well, and it's kind of fun because you think of it's hard enough. Companies struggle enough right now to patch on the ground. How are you going to build the systems or the processes to patch in space? Mm -hmm. um, and when you've got, as Henry pointed out, when you've got those delays that you don't have when your feet are on the ground, of communications and how do you build in that lag time? How do you do this? And then I love thinking about too, the, like, we still have problems with, there's a storm, a tree falls on somebody's house. You have to figure out, okay, well, what if it's, you know, what if there's a crash between two, you know, we know what happens with some of this junk, but how do we do it? Like, well, your satellite clipped my shuttle, which then caused a fall here. And now I'm picturing, picturing the Jetsons-esque lawyer commercials of like, has, you know, did Starlink uh, crash or, <laughs> well, one call solves all, you know, like call us. You're going to have that banner in the, some, some space orbits that says, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it got injured, call. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah. And I think to the, uh, give you another example is International Space Station. They have a 3D printer on there to fix stuff mm -hmm. so they can do it live. Mm -hmm. To me, that's genius, right? Yep. Yeah. So they have a part. They don't have to wait for the next rocket to come up. <laughs> they got a 3D wizard and they make it. That's cool innovation, right? That's mm -hmm. what the RSA sandbox is about, is sharing and showing those cool things. I know Black Hills is going to be there. Uh, Tim Fowler, just an amazing course. Oh, on he was satellites. on a podcast with us uh, not, oh, he did? not too long ago. He's, oh, that, he's that coming back to talk about space uh, and society. So I'm excited to have Real him. rock star. I'm yeah. not sure if he's at RSA, but anyway, great yeah. stuff, great people. And I want to go back to what Liz said, innovators. My current 
boss or whatever leader visioning space grand challenge for middle and high school kids four years ago. Let's get them into space so they can do cybersecurity. And that wasn't even thought about. So visionaries, the people pushing the envelope and making this super uh, real reality for everyone else. And yeah, so here's a shout out to Bill Britton and Tim and all these other great people that are moving forward. And you, Liz, I mean, your field is very different from mine. Um, <laughs> very different. But we know some of the same people and some of the same things. So that's why we can sit down and have a conversation about this. And I can ask like, well, what's the policy on that? Because <laughs> uh, I don't know. But you could ask me a question that you don't know. And I, I really find the learning capacity always goes up when uh, you hang out with cool people that, that know. But them. look, it's in the name, right? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna start wrapping here because I know we could go for hours. But uh, <laughs> it's in the name. It's the village, right? I mean, uh, what I loved about the concept of the DefCon Village is the village. It's you. You're there, and it's it's the village, the town where everybody meets, and and you have this conversation, and you figure out the future. And those everybody, it's really smart people. Yeah. It's like yeah. incredibly smart. And so I, I want to give you a couple of minutes each to make a call for inviting people. This is happening RSA conference, which is uh, the 6th to the 9th uh, of uh, May. May. We're mm -hmm. going to be there again. Sean is going to be there. I'm going to be there. You guys are going to be there. Um, and the sandbox where you guys are actually in Moscone South. So. Uh, make a note for that, but I'll put everything in the notes for the show as well. But awesome. this energy, it's going to be there uh, even more because it's going to be you know, in, person. in person. So two minutes of your energy each to just tell people to come by and, and visit the village. Liz, you please start. I can't yeah. hear what you're going to say. Well, and really the benefit and where where it really becomes a sandbox and a village is understanding that aerospace and defending protecting and also building designing takes all of these pieces that it's bringing the researchers the business team the sales team all the folks the policy makers and the users because we all fly, we all use the navigation systems, the communication systems. Come get that hands-on experience and have those conversations with all those different pieces that you can only get with the Aerospace Village because they do such a good job of bringing together all those voices, understanding that it's not just a silo here and a silo there. So I look forward to seeing folks come by. Let's start these conversations and spark solutions for tomorrow, today, and going forward. Awesome. I can't wait to see you. Give you a big hug. We're going to have a great time. Woohoo! Uh, so Again, let's defend the skies in the aerospace village together uh, as a community. It takes more than anyone or everyone to do all of this. I respect all of Liz today. And Marco, thank you for having us today. The Cal Poly Cybersecurity Institute, very honored to be a part of Aerospace Village, getting young people with the Space Grand Challenge that happens April 26th this month for little young people to change their lives. Uh, do great things. Pentest Partners, who's going to be with us. CISA and their supply chain risk management folks. Very excited about that. Um, and of course, Budabot. And we have our badge maker, Abhinav, who's coming. Uh, and please stop by to check out the badge that has to do with constellations. That's the secret. Uh, but I'm very, very excited to be here and be cannot wait to see you all in person. So please stop by uh, the, the RSA sandbox this year at Moscone Center in San Francisco, woohoo, May 7th um, and through the 9th or 6th, sorry, 6th. <laughs> Oh my God, this is such a great energy here. It's 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 incredible. I'm excited. I am glad that we had this conversation. I know Sean, when he looked at this, when he watched it, he's gonna be very jealous, but that's okay. Sean. You will be there. We'll stop by. We'll spend a lot of time at the at the village. And uh, for everybody else, you know, again, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be on Broadcast Alley. We're gonna record right there. We're gonna do a lot of things. And of course, meet uh, all our friends. And uh, if you can't make it to San Francisco, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll share everything that is happening there 
at least the cool stuff. So that's the <laughs> Aerospace Village, right? And thanks, Steve, Pubs, yeah. and all the rest of the crew for Aerospace Village. Uh, we honor you as well because it does take all of us. So thanks again. You got yeah, thank you. Congratulations. All righty. Bye, everybody. <laughs> right, Stay later. tuned. More Next to time. come for RSA Conference 2024. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Insights, solutions, and networking all come together at RSA Conference. Join a global cybersecurity community at rsaconference.com forward slash ITSP MAG24.